After working up such an appetite on a cruise from all the different activities that you can do from rock climbing, zip lining, just having a ball or counting all of those steps that you take, you might be wondering where can I eat and what are the dining venues on the my cruise? So let's take a tour on Allure of the Seas of where you can eat from specialty dining along with complimentary offerings. First up, we're gonna talk about one of my absolute favorites, which is El Loco Fresh. So brand new to the Allure of the Seas, we're seeing an overhaul with the Wipe Out Cafe. We're seeing some quick service Mexican cuisine. It's a fan favorite across many other ships within the Royal Caribbean fleet that have this restaurant. Now this is worth noting as well, especially when it's a hot day, you can run over the sprinkles here and get yourself an ice cream cone, vanilla chocolate oh. twist. Thank you. All right, now we're ready to continue on to the rest of the dining options. By the way, if you guys enjoy cruising just as much as I do and you're looking to find some of the best deals, be sure to check out our travel partners. I will link them down in the description box and their email right here so you can get the best deals and answer all of your questions about booking a cruise on the lower of the seas or other ships. Cheers. Next up, we are here within the Solarium. It's the Solarium Bistro but also we have Samba Grill. So during the afternoon, you can grab a snack here at this location. Actually, this is where I came when I first boarded the ship. It's optimal for me as I think it's a little bit of a less crowded area to grab a bite to eat. And spoiler alert, there was even a lobster tail on this buffet for lunch and vacation day. Amazing way to start the cruise, am I right? If you love seafood as much as I do, be sure to hit the thumbs up because we're on the same page. So what is kind of cool is that in the evening for dinner, this becomes Samba Grill. And with this restaurant, it's a Brazilian steakhouse. If you've ever had a Brazilian steakhouse or been to one before, you know that they walk around with big swords basically and all the meat is on the sword. You'll come sit at a table and you'll tell them whether or not you want different cuts of meat. They'll walk around with different kinds from chicken, bacon wrapped chicken, all the different kinds. So if I had one recommendation for you, well, maybe even two, I would order a caipirinha, which is a traditional Brazilian drink. Delicious, and sometimes your bartender can even make it different flavors. So that would be my drink of choice when you're dining here, along with making sure that you have the picanha. That is the topest, best cut of meat that you will be served here and my personal favorite. So it's actually almost like a saltier kind of cut of meat. It's absolutely delicious. And if they offer any farofa, make sure you get that too because you can kind of dip your meat in that. It's a almost like a little breading in a sense and it gives it a lot of flavor. So be sure to check it out. And if you're also kind of curious on why I know so much about Brazilian food is that cameraman is actually Brazilian. So for those that don't know, now you do. Perhaps you'll find yourself enjoying a spa treatment while you're on board as well. This is where you're gonna wanna enjoy some of the vitality at sea, along with picking up maybe a smoothie or a juice. Some people don't know that there is a juice bar here on deck six in the very forward with the juice bar. Let's check it out and show you the offerings. So here they can make you some fresh juices, freshly pressed smoothies, delicious options, and very healthy. And here's a list. They also have coffees as well. All right, so now it's the official taste test. Ooh, this is so refreshing. <laughs> really waking me up. One thing to note too, if you're gonna visit the Vitality Spa and Cafe here is that if you have the dining package these delicious drinks are included. So I really like to have one in the morning, kind of pick yourself up, wake yourself up, great way to start the day. And especially if you have been indulging quite a bit in so many of these delicious venues, one too many desserts, this can help you feel a little bit refreshed and a little bit, a little more pep in your step. Listen to the sounds of birds and pure relaxation as you dine El Fresco here in Central Park. This is deck eight on board the ship and my goodness, so beautiful. Let's check out all the restaurants right here. There's a few. So you'll find here on 
Central Park, there's a few different restaurants. We have Vintages, which is a wine bar, and they do potentially have some light snacks for you, but we'll focus on some more of the full-blown sit-down dining venues. And first up is Giovanni's Table. Now, Giovanni's is an Italian restaurant that has this outdoor seating, and we'll take a quick look at the menu. So. All of the pasta is actually made fresh, or if it's not made fresh, it's made by an Italian company that's imported. So very, very delicious. I've had the opportunity to eat here as well, and I cannot recommend enough some of the seafood linguine, the gnocchi, delicious. And of course, you gotta end with a cannoli. So here is the inside of Giovanni's. It's a very rustic Italian romantic feel in the evening the lights are dimmed and you can share an anapasti plate all of the wine pairings and offerings as well a really nice experience for this restaurant on board now we can jump right on over to Park Cafe this is a really great option for breakfast and lunch it's quick service but it is a really nice one-stop shop for some making your own salads. How are you? I love to make a salad to your own liking, but they also have some pre-fixed options here like fruits and the sandwiches ready to go for you, chips, and also this is worth talking about, the roast beef on a kummelweck bun with the au jus. Yum, making me hungry. Check this out, Park Cafe also has a coffee bar. So you can get some hot beverages as well, grab yourself a little pick-me-up throughout the day, and enjoy some treats here too. Sweet Tooth might be calling your name with some of these. Lovely afternoon stroll in Central Park. We'll make our way to our next restaurant, which is going to be 150 Central Park. So here in 150 Central Park, we have cocoon chairs, absolutely adorable if you're dining for two, very romantic. But this restaurant is one of the most coveted, important ones for you to check out on board because it's absolutely incredible. And new to the allure of the seas, we have a huge cheese cart, which is absolutely spectacular. And get this, if you're into cheeses, there is a Lone Star cheese honoring Texas as the allure is sailing out of Galveston. So you won't want to miss that and try that. I have to say it is a stronger cheese, has a lot of bold flavor, and there's so much to choose from. I actually loved the lobster and it has delicious flavor. Everything was absolutely fabulous. The other thing I'll note too, enthusiastically about this restaurant is the baked cheesecake. This might sound somewhat average of something you might get at a fair, but it blew my mind. Had to eat every last drop, so delicious. Next up is Chops Grill here, still in Central Park. Take a peek at the menu and the dining options here with all of the delicious cuts of steak and we'll take a look on inside. Dining here in Royal Caribbean's signature steakhouse is also one not to miss. Chops Grill is also included in some of the key dining packages. So if you opt into that, you might find yourself enjoying a meal here as well. Or you could dine here with the unlimited dining package as also an option. They offer lunch and dinner here as well. Really, really scrumptious. It's different menu. It's a lighter fare for lunch and I highly recommend. Now, if you're looking for a quick snack, be sure to head on over to the boardwalk and grab yourself a dog. You can choose from a regular hot dog, a chicken and apple bratwurst. There's also sides as well. So nice little pick me up, feeling those Coney Island vibes. And then right afterwards, a ride on the merry-go-round. Don't mind if I do. Are you hungry yet? We're gonna look at two more dining restaurants here on the boardwalk on the Allura this Seas. First up, we have Sabor. This is some Mexican cuisine here and quite popular with El Fresco dining and inside here, an additional bar area as well that you can dine in. And directly across the way here, we have Johnny Rockets, which is open for breakfast as well. Fun fact. It is free during breakfast, but otherwise it is a service charge to Dine and Dining Rockets for lunch or dinner. You can get a milkshake there as well, along with the original hamburgers. So fun options here with a lot going on with a tequila bar here on the boardwalk. And then you can grab a seat at the Aqua Show and enjoy all the entertainment on board as well. 
but there's more for food. So let's keep on seeing what else the Allure of the Seas has to offer. What's better than ice cream? Cupcakes and ice cream. We're at Cups and, Cups and Scoops here, and oh my goodness, there's a bubble gum cupcake. That looks scrumptious and it's pink. Absolutely adorable. Chunky Monkey, Cherry Garcia, loads of options, fish food, and guess what? They have sprinkles. So they serve Ben and Jerry's ice cream here, and this is for a small nominal fee for the ice cream along with the cupcakes. Now we're up on deck 17 aft and we have Coastal Kitchen. This restaurant is exclusive for guests in suites. So this area of the ship is only for sweet guests. So if you're staying in, you can dine here in this restaurant for lunch and dinner. They have incredible steaks. I've had the opportunity to dine in this restaurant before. Absolutely delicious. Let's go inside and check it out. Coastal Kitchen is a specialty restaurant available for lunch and dinner on board the Allure of the Seas here. This restaurant is exclusive for sweet guests here as it is next to the sweet lounge over here. And there's a bar where you can hang out and enjoy some delicious food. One of the many perks of being in a suite. Here is a look at the main dining room menu here. The main dining room actually changes every night here. So options that are up on the top halves of the menu will rotate each night. And those that are labeled as classics stay the same each night of the cruise. A lot of options for you to choose from. And the dining room here is complimentary part of your cruise. And you can also have brunch on sea days here along with some really nice sit down dinners all included in your cruise fare so this dining room is actually three different floors they have different names for each floor and depending on what time you are seated if you're doing early seating late seating or anytime seating that is determining on where you will sit throughout your cruise but take a look at how grand and luxurious it is to dine in this very large venue so if you're dining in the main dining room you will be on deck three four or five Next up is a complimentary item here in the Wind Jammer. This is where you're going to find the most variety of foods all in one dining location. This is where we have so many different types of cuisine from fresh cut carvery stations, salads, pasta stations, and so much more. And let's not forget all of those delicious desserts as well. So you can always grab a seat here and you might find yourself enjoying some particularly nice views as well as it's in the aft of the ship up on deck 15. There are two sides of the buffet as well. And when you're all the way back in the aft or the back section here, you can see that you have some nice viewings of the ship, things to look at as you enjoy your meal. One of my favorite aspects of dining in the Windjammer is how great the crew takes care of you. Once you grab your seat, you don't even have to necessarily worry about getting yourself your coffee for breakfast in the morning or your water, or your lemonade, whatever you want to have as a beverage, because so many of these wonderful crew members will come up to you and ask you what you want to drink. So if your hands are full with your plates, your kiddos plates, what have you, they're there to help, which I think is fabulous. Check out this Indian cuisine as well. It has a whole section of the buffet. It smells really good. Other international favorites as well. Pork snitchel, carrots, rosemary, potatoes. Yum. Now at this point in the video, you might be wondering about seeing so many awesome locations just like we were just at the boardwalk and now we're at Royal Promenade, which is like the heart of the ship. A lot going on here. So you might be curious about the rest of the allure of the seas, what this ship has to offer from the shopping and the dining, from the entertainment and so much more. I wanna encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. So when I post a ship tour, you will be notified and you can check out all that the ship has to offer here on board. But let's get started and we'll head over to Cafe Promenade. Cafe Promenade is such a great spot to grab some bites. Not only do they have dessert and fixing that sugar craving you might be having, but they also have some lighter bites from fruit, apples, sandwiches, and other kinds of ways to perk yourself up with some espresso coffee lattes and all of the coffee that they serve is Starbucks. Additionally, they also have 
regular brewed coffee here, iced tea, water, lemonade as well. If you want to grab something quick to go, I will note that the food is free, but the espresso and coffee is an extra charge. You can grab a coffee punch card or you can have the uh, beverage package and then this coffee would be included. Who's ready for a slice of pie here at Sorrento's? Now Sorrento's has a bar as well, so you can grab yourself a drink, but take a look at the menu here of some of the traditional offerings that they have, barbecue chicken, pepperoni, cheese, vegetarian, lots of options along with some other snack food. Additionally, if you are gluten-free, Sorrento's can make gluten-free pizza up on request for you to take care of any of those allergies or dietary restrictions that you have. Friends, if you are still hungry or still curious about even more of the allure of the seas, be sure to check out these other two videos here as I cover so much more in the entire allure of the seas playlist. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, ciao for now.